Welcome everyone to the Cat's Meowth and a roughly 250 card PSA return. So this is my last return that I did with the Middleman uh, Ludkins. Um, it's uh, just a few weeks away from these cards being gone for almost two years. Um, there's all sorts of drama associated with that. If you want to uh, to dive deep down some forums, uh, the info's out there. But bottom line, I am just happy to have my cards home. So uh, this first box, uh, we have five boxes to go through. First box, um, I flipped through and saw lots of nines and tens. So I just stopped and I uh, thought we're going to spend the rest of the night taking videos because I want to see what is in here. It's been, like I said, two years. I don't even remember what I sent off. So from just uh, the original base set, Gem Mint 10, Imposter Professor Oak, a 10 on the Item Finder, 9 on Lass, 10 on Pokemon Breeder, 9 on Pokemon Trader, 9 on Scoop Up, 10 on Super Energy Removal, and going into Expedition non hollow Rares, I believe, Tyranitar got a 10 Venusaur got a 10, um, and pretty much all of these cards, I think, are pack fresh, um, which is why, uh, you know, otherwise I probably wouldn't have bothered to send off um, base rares, although back in, um, you know, two years ago, that's a whole, whole nother story. Um, so Venusaur from Expedition, um, more non-hollow rares, that one got an 8, but Vileplume got a 10, Darkness Energy, a 10, Metal, a 9, um, into Aquapolis, non hollow rares. Arcanine got a 10. Ariados, a 10. Azumarill, a 10. Blossom, a 10. And uh, weird. And Pharos got a 7. Um, oh, yeah, there's, there, there's some whitening up there. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Just, uh, I, I am not complaining at all, but uh, uh, clearly I missed something on that one. Okay, so uh, but back to the tens with Electrode. Uh, now we're into Sky Ridge uh, rares. Articuno got a nine. Beedrill a ten. Um, Boundaries Cross Flygon Hollow, uh, interesting choice of mine to send out, got a nine. Um, Legendary Collection rare Pokemon Trader a nine. Scoop Up a nine. Uh, Last from Base Two a nine. Uh, Expedition Rare Alakazam, a 10, uh, and Pharos, a 10, and Arbok, a 9. So this is uh, skipping a little bit um, back and forth between sets, but not nearly as bad as the last mission, um, so far at least. Uh, more Expedition, Blastoise got a 10, uh, Butterfree, a 10, Clefable, a 9, Cloyster, a 10. Dragonite, a 10. Uh, Dugtrio, a 9. Fero, a 10. Oh, and Veraligator, a 10. I love seeing all the starters get 10s. And we have one more stack for box number one. Uh, let's see. Golem, a 10. Kingler, a 10. Machamp, a 10. Gengar, 10. Umbreon, 10. Vaporeon, a 9. Tentacruel, a 10. Houndoom, an 8. And that is the end of box number one. So this is the only box that I flipped through. Um, I, I'm pretty sure we've got some bigger, uh, big hit cards in here as far as um, not just non-holo rares. So uh, yeah, let, let's just keep going. And in box number two, uh, Sky Ridge Rare Aerodactyl got an 8, Alakazam an 8, Ninetales a 9, Octillery a 9, Parasect a 10, and Primate a 10. Uh, Slowbro got a 9, Slowking a 9, Executor a 9, um, Other Executor a 10, uh, Zapdos an 8, Uh, Suicune got a 10, Vileplume a 9, Charizard EX from Evolutions an 8, 
Uh, Venusaur EX, uh, a nine. Move this stack out of the way. And the Mega Charizard EX also got an eight. Blastoise, a nine. Oh, but Mega Blastoise got a 10. Uh, reverse Charizard from Evolutions, a 9. Charmander Reverse, a 9. Charmeleon, an 8. Bummer, a little bummer on those. Um, nine Tails uh, Reverse got a 9. And the Nine Tails Hollow got a 9. And now we're going back into uh, some E Series rares, back to Sky Ridge. Nine for Magneton, eight for Moltres. Nidoqueen got a nine. Omastar, a ten. Piloswine, a nine. Politoed, a nine. Polyrath, nine. Raichu got a ten. Uh, Pikachu reverse from Roaring Skies. That's an odd one. I feel like there were a handful of maybe five cards that I just sent in that, um, yeah, so that got an eight. Um, Abzol reverse from Roaring Skies. I think I was splitting up Roaring Skies and, and, and at the time, two years ago, the, these were worth maybe grading. So that got an eight. First edition Dart Blastoise though got a 10. Excellent. And looks like in this last, uh, we got, well, two more stacks, I think. Um, the rare Dark Charizard got a 9, but that's also first edition. Dragon Knight got a 10. Doug Trio a 9. Dark Golbat a 10. Dark Gyarados a 9. Dark Hypno a 10. Dark Machamp a 10. Rainbow Energy uh, got a 9. And, uh, yeah, still in first edition. Now we're getting into Unlimited. So Dark Slowbro got an 8. Dark Gyarados, an 8. Dragonite, 9. Arbok, 8. Uh, oh, Charizard Rare from Expedition got a 10. And, uh, the other one, the other Rare got a 9. Feraligator Hollow got an, an 8. That's the first edition. Uh, Ampharos, a 9. Pichu, a 9. Slowking, an 8. And last card. Oh, ouch. Uh, bummer to end the box on that. Typhlosion only got a 6, and that's the Unlimited. So three more boxes to go. And it looks like we are continuing with non hollow rares in box number 3. Uh, Houndoom from Aquapolis got an 8. Uh, base 2, Victory Bell, an 8. Venomoth, 9. Pidgeotto, ooh, 7. Uh, Computer Search, 9. Imposter Professor Oak, an 8. Item Finder, got a 10. Uh, Mutt First Edition from Fossil, got an 8. Raichu, an 8. Zapdos, an 8. And uh, I remember opening up that set when I was a kid, so not not bad for uh, what I uh, how I had them stored. Uh, Moltres uh, Unlimited got a nine. Uh, Magneton uh, got a ten, and this one they noted, um, yeah, they're they're specific to the ninety nine to two thousand copyright. Uh, don't that uh, yeah, I don't recall that one being the rare one. Um, Ditto, a nine. Oh, I think I did have the Australian box. Yeah, the red label Australian box. So yeah, I'll definitely have to um, mark, note, note that when I sell these. Aerodactyl, a nine. And Articuno, a nine. Lapras, a ten. And Pinsir, a nine. Uh, let's see, more base two. non hollow rare Beedrill, an eight. Snorlax, a 9. Back to Sky Ridge with Jolteon, got a 9. Kabutops, a 10. Legendary Collection Breeder, a 10. Raikou from Sky Ridge, a 9. Starmie from Sky Ridge, though, got a 10. Uh, Steelix, an 8. And Nidoqueen, first edition from Jungle, an 8. And let's see if I can slide this stack out of the way. 
knock the camera a little bit. Sorry about that. And continuing with, <clears throat> excuse me, first edition jungle, we have Wigglytuff with a nine. Snorlax, oh, that's a bummer. That got a seven. Victory Bell, an eight. Vile Plume, an eight. Clefable, a nine. This is unlimited. Electrode, an eight. Flareon, a nine. Jolteon, eight. And Kangaskhan got an eight as well. More unlimited jungle. Mr. Mime, an eight. Nidoqueen, Queen, eight. Pidgeot, though, got a ten. Uh, Pinsir a nine. Ride on from Sky Ridge got a nine. Uh, then back to Jungle First Edition. Uh, Flareon got an eight. Um, random Absol Hollow from Roaring Skies got an eight. Rayquaza EX from Roaring Skies a nine. And last stack <clears throat> Typhlosion Hollow First Edition from Genesis an eight. Feraligator Unlimited an eight. Espeon uh, Unlimited. Ooh, I got a 10. That's from uh, Hollow from Discovery. Oh, yeah, these are some good ones. Uh, Umbreon Hollow from Discovery, 9. First Edition Espeon, an 8. First Edition Houndoom, a 9. First Edition Kabutops, 9. Politoed, 9. Tyranitar, 9. Um, and Charizard Hollow from Evolutions also got a 9. And that finishes box number 3. Three, And in box number four, we are starting off strong with a 10 uh, for a base Beedrill, also a 10 for Dragonair, and a 10 for Dugtrio, 9 for Electabuzz, Pidgeotto, a 10, Tyranitar Hollow from Discovery, a 9, then back to base Electrode with a 10, Clefairy Doll, a 9, Crobat Sky Ridge Rare got a gem 10, Arcanine a 9, yeah that's also a non-hollow rare, and then going back to jungle we have a 9 for Venomoth, uh, uh, 10 for uh, Zapdos from Fossil, 9 for Raichu, 9 for Muk, 10 for Dragonite, 10 for Gengar, 8 for Haunter, 10 for Hitmonlee, 10 for Hypno, 10 for Kabutops, 9 for Dragonair from base 2, 8 from Dra uh, Dugtrio from base 2, Electrode, oh, only got a 7. Uh, oh, Kangaskhan also only got a 7. Move this stack. Moltres, though, got a 10. Nitto King, a 10. These are from Legendary Collection. Nitto Queen, a 9. Pidgeot, a 10. And Pidgeotto, also a 10. Ride On, got a 9. Uh, Ferretris Sky Ridge, a 10. Gyarados, a 9. Jungle Scyther, got a 10. Uh, Snorlax, an 8. Vaporeon, a 10. Victory Bell, a 9. Vile Plume, 9. Wigglytuff, 8. Articuno, first edition, got a 9. Ditto, got a 9. Dragonite, first edition, from Fossil, an 8. Gengar, a 9. Haunter, a 9. Hitmonlee, 9. Hypno, 9. Kabutops, 8. And Lapras got an 8. We have one more stack in box number 4. I'm loving all these 9s and 10s. Moltres, a 9. Beedrill from Legendary Collection, 9. Typhlosion from Expedition, a 9. Magneton, an 8. Um, and weird way to end the box. Superior from Boundaries Crossed, a 9. I think that was another set that I was breaking up to sell at that point, too. And here we go with the fifth and final box. Uh, Butterfree from Legendary Collection, a 9. Electrode, Gem 10. Executor, a 9. And sorry, the camera's... Yeah, here we go. Uh, Golem got a 9. Hypno, a 9. Jinx, 9. Kabutops, 9. Magneton, oh, 8. 
Um, Mewtwo, though, got a 10. Excellent. Pokemon Breeder, an 8. And Pokemon Trader, also an 8. Scoop Up got a 9. That's from Base 2. Uh, Gem 10 for Here Comes Team Rocket, 1st Edition. Dark Weezing, 1st Edition, a 9. Dark Vile Plume, an 8. Dark Slowbro got a 10. Uh, Dark Magneton, a 9. Dark Alakazam got a oh, bummer, got a 7, but eh, still 1st Edition. Uh, 10 for Dark Arbok. And hey, we got another Charizard that kind of snuck in the middle. Uh, from Boundaries Crossed, uh, Hollow, but only got an 8. Um, oh, and maybe it looks like I tried to set off the set. Um, Charmeleon, a 9. Oh, but Charmander got a 10, so that might uh, help boost the sale a little bit. Um, Meganium from Expedition got a 10, as uh, well as that Meganium as well. Uh, and Mew, excellent. Mew got a 10, and Mew too got a 10. Oh, I love all these 10s in a row. And here's another one. Uh, Nine Tails, a 10. Um, here, let's see. Well, if I don't knock over the cards. I'm trying to, I'm running out of room on the desk. Uh, too many slabs. Polyrath, a 10. Raichu, a 10. Rapidash, a 9. Dugong, a 10. Flareon, an 8. Ledian, an 8. Machamp, an 8. Magcargo, a 10. Yeah, I think we have a couple stacks left. Magcargo, 8. Wigglytuff, 9. Zoktu, a 9. Togetek, a 9. Gem 10 for Tyranitar, 9 for Umbreon, 10 for Victory Bell, 9 for Gengar, 9 for Ellie Kid, 9 for Entei, and last stack, Espeon from Aquapolis, an 8, Pseudo Wudo, a 10, Houndoom, a 10, Hypno, a 10, Jumpluff, 10, Lantern, 10, uh, the other Lantern, a 9, Magneton, 10, and Porygon, a 9. Um, oh, that's easily a third of these were 10s. Um, I, don't, I don't think I could say half, but um, there were certainly a lot of 10s. Fantastic. Love it. Um, this Again, this is my last submission from Lugkins. And, oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I said it at the beginning. Um, if you want to buy anything you see, my email is thecatsmeowth at gmail.com. Uh, if you have a trunk and try and get an inventory up and I'll get that posted on my Wix site as soon as I can. Uh, pricing is going to take a while. So if you're interested in anything, shoot me an email and I'll prioritize those. I do have another 250 card submission coming back from PSA probably before the end of the year. And then one more, uh, a small one of just uh, 50 cards, but uh, those are some bigger ones in there. So um, it's going to be a busy next few months, and I hope you'll stick around and uh, see everything that's going to be going up for sale.